I've been thinking a lot about this in terms of creation, even in Genesis 1, right? So God, when God creates, God's speaking in the plural, us. <laughs> and even the name God, Elohim in Hebrew, it's plural. Uh, it's not, it's technically the gods in Hebrew, but it never ever takes a plural verb or a plural modifier in any way. It's always singular uh, throughout scripture. And so this one God is somehow a plural being, but is one. And when God creates humans, humanity, one, ha-adam, singular, but ha-adam is male and female, right? So singularity and plurality are just sort of built into everything, because this is God's nature. And humans just continue to struggle to live into that oneness that is an essential part of our whole created order. I mean, this gets at the heart of atonement, uh, of at one meant that to be a human is to be created for this, which means I'm never reducible to my individuality, to my function, to my gender, or whatever essentialism we tend to promote these days. It's always bigger, it's always more, right? So my wholeness exceeds me. It exceeds me because it involves God and it involves you and it involves the earth and it involves everything that God has made because we're creatures that are bound up within everything else, right? I mean, even the great commandment, right? So it's, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Um, and in the Greek, it's another is hamoios. Uh, it, it's literally like the same. So we, we, we take it to mean a second is like it, meaning like we think that first love God and then love your neighbor. But he's saying, no, it's homoios. Those are the same, that if you're gonna love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, it means loving your neighbor fully because we can't extract ourselves from our neighbor, from our God. We're all bound up in one another uh, in God's order of things. So to be whole is to see me not just in my, even in my limited sense of the self-embodiment presentation, but in my nexus of relationships with others, with the earth, uh, with my story, uh, my problems and my loves and my hobbies and all those things that we typically only reserve for people that are most intimate to us.